Welcome to the Comedy Club. We have another terrific show for you tonight. A special welcome to the, any of you who are here for the first time. One. You know you'll love it. You'll come back. You'll bring both of your friends and their friends. Now, Joey is more than just comedy. She shows us how to live. Joey, our energetic grandmother, even after her two new knees and earning her handicap placard, entertains us with intelligence, real life senior humor. Some of it she's learned the hard way. She loves senior comedy and senior audiences. She has appeared in many venues, including the Improv, Tibby's. Long ago, she was on the Gong Show, which she won. Her prize, all the Slurpees she could drink in a year. She has hired headliners for us for 15 years and has done a great job of it. They say they love to come here because of you, the audience. So now, let us have a round of applause and a great welcome to Joey Sims. because they're going to help you get to eternity. That's, that's the way that is. 
Now, my girlfriend, Nethi, took me to a restaurant called Maestro's. It was so wonderful. I felt like I was on a movie set. Everybody in there was gorgeous and young and rich. In fact, um, the man next to me, I made friends with him, and he was having a $400 dinner. This is a true story. And he's on a 10,000 calorie a day diet, and he was not fat. He said he works out every day. But I watched him eat a giant salad, two plates of sushi, a giant piece of fish, and we had to leave after a steak. I don't know what it went from there, but it cost $400. Is that a kick? That's in Newport. Yeah. And then uh, I met a new man. He was so ugly, he hurt my feelings. <laughs> That's a joke, folks. And he asked me if I was religious, and I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, the Lord is in my heart, but the devil's in my pants. <laughs> Everybody get that now? You gotta be slow in here, comedians back there, you hear me? Gotta be slow. I am truly worried about getting into heaven. I really am, because I won't probably remember the password. <laughs> oh, and then some of us went into this restaurant. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here. It was called Cachina. Casi yeah. And this is the menu, folks. <laughs> now, I, 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 I really feel bad because this is the truth. So eight of us girls scanned this and scanned it with our eyes, because that's the only way we know how to scan. <laughs> and we never could order because we didn't know what there was to order. <laughs> so well, today I lost Google and Gmail, so I was a really happy camper. I just, I just hate the technical stuff out there, I really do. You know, Nowadays, kids two and three years old use computers. Yes. When we were two or three, we were still eating mud. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. And I'm only a little bit technical, but I did buy a fancy deodorant yesterday, and it said, take off the top and push up the bottom. <laughs> so I did that, and then I couldn't walk. And then I farted and I made the room smell wonderful. <laughs> now that's worth, come on. <laughs> and then I have a girlfriend that goes to Walmart all the time. And she says she got in her car the other day and the car said, Are you going to work at Walmart? <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> And my friends and I decided, when we get older, we're not going to sit on the computer, and we're not going to do crossword puzzles. We're going to play with our life alerts and hope that all the firemen and the good looking men and the good looking paramedics will come together. Yes. <laughs> And what do you think of the gas? Can you believe this? Almost five bucks? No. I told you I got gas for two dollars. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> anyway, gas is so high. <laughs> if you're going anywhere this summer, it might be cheaper to mail your car. <laughs> Gas is so high <laughs> that one Chevron station has a sign that said, we offer home refinancing to help with the gas price. <laughs> gas is so high <laughs> that one station, the Chevron station, had a slot for your credit card and one for your 401k. <laughs> This would be funny if it wasn't true. You know? <laughs> and then there were two bums sitting on a, a park bench, and one said, I once had it all, a beautiful wife, a luxury car, 
And then I went to the station a couple of times and I filled up. <laughs> I feel like that too, don't you? Pretty soon we'll put our credit card in there and the fuel pump will say, and what is the make and model and year of your car? As well as your yearly income. And after a brief wait, the fuel pump will say, your loan has been approved. <laughs> And I, I hate it that the lights are so slow here. You know, you don't see anybody walking yet. Pretty soon everybody's going to be walking. But I went to Stater's, and like I said, that light lasts forever. I had a chance to change my tire. <laughs> then I was so tired, I went over and laid under the umbrella with the homeless man. <laughs> so we might be engaged by now. Yeah, he forgave me about when he used to yell at me and say, Lady, lady, I haven't eaten in three days. And I'd yell back and say, Force yourself. <laughs> and there, I, there, before I left tonight, there was a woman standing in front of my garden villa. And she was saying, My husband's been missing for 19 days. And the policeman said, Oh, no, that's not good. That's too long. And she said, he said, I think you'd better expect the worst. And she screamed, oh no, he's not coming back, is he? <laughs> you like, hear how loud the women laugh? I think that is so funny. And the men don't even laugh, you know. <laughs> and then her son asked his elderly mother what she wanted for Christmas. And she said, just a little caring would be nice. So the next day, he put her in a state-supported nursing home. <laughs> Do you see why some animals eat their young? <laughs> and a man took his wife to a nice hotel for their 50th anniversary. And uh, they went out drinking and dancing and dining, and then they got into a huge argument in the hotel. And so the man called the desk clerk, and he said, well, we, they had this big argument. He said to the desk clerk, my wife's trying to jump out the window. And he said, that's a personal problem. I can't help you with that. He says, no, it isn't. It's a maintenance problem. The window won't open. <laughs> I think that's a good place to go. <laughs> See this good-looking man right here? He was my boss 30 years ago in real estate. Yeah. And at the time, I was raising a grandchild that I had from birth, and he kept telling me, you can't have that baby under the chair. And I'd say, and I'm walking out of here with the baby and my listings. And he let me stay. Okay, I'm thrilled to death to have a couple of people that haven't been here in several years. One is Brian Aprile. He's a stand-up comedian, a voice actor, and a motivational speaker who performs across America for uh, comedy clubs, businesses, churches, and any audience who wants to laugh or hear his inspiring story. Brian is a clean comic, has shared the stage with some of the biggest names, appeared on NBC, Sprint TV, and AOL's Comedy Spotlight. He's also the winner of the 2016 Clean Comedy Festival, and uh, people describe him as brilliantly entertaining. And he brought with him his, her, his friend, Lisa Gilbert, who started her stand-up career in her hometown of San Diego, marrying late in life and now the mother of triplets. Makes her both inspirational and an instant crowd favorite with her clean comedy and her family-style jokes. So we're going to bring one of them to the front. Lisa or Brian, come on out. I had a friend of mine I was driving with her uh, a few weeks ago, and this, she said this to me, she goes, Brian, she goes, I know you don't like the flavor of mango, right? I know you don't like the taste of mango, but you got to try this. This is amazing. And I go, okay, what is it? She goes, it's mango juice. <laughs> but you can barely taste the mango. Why would you do that? I, I wouldn't sit there and go to you, listen, I know you don't like the taste of manure, right? I know, I know, but you gotta try this, this is amazing. Oh, okay, what is it? It's kale, but you can barely taste the manure. Look, I can't feel bad for you folks that just have one kid. I just can't, because three is just harder than one. 
Let's start at the beginning. Breastfeeding. No. Oh yeah, we're on number. I had to use like a lazy Susan. Just. You're welcome for the visual.